everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the Warrior My First Nations people. An absolute pleasure to have you, your guides, my guides, and the universal energies with us today. Woohoo! Um, first of all, straight up, uh, sending love, lots of love to Danny Shea and his uh, beautiful wife who are down with COVID at the moment and apparently down quite. Um, Oh, you know, struggling a bit. Um, when I say down quite badly, it's still considered mild, but it's bad, bad head cold, uh, mild flu type symptoms, which is, you know, as we all know, is can be very unpleasant. So love and love and love to them. And also to Lisa, who usually reads from Denise from Spiritual Growth Tarot, I gather is not well either. So <sighs> lots of... Lots of heart energy to those guys and hope, hopefully a speedy recovery. Okay, well, mm, Republicans can't decide on a, on a um, House Speaker. <laughs> Not surprised. There's that Five of Wands energy that we read yesterday. Uh, three votes, all of them um, failed to get McCarthy over the line. However, they don't have a viable alternative to McCarthy. Um, so we'll have a little bit of a look at that, I think, very, very briefly. But then I want to have another look at uh, George DeSantis. So can we please have some a little bit of a clarification? Basically, because they have nobody else. I know Jim Jordan's been nominated and and possibly another one, but none of them have the numbers. Can I ask a question, please, guys? Can I ask a question? Can I ask a question? Yeah. I mean, I was saying yes already because they knew what I was going to ask, but can I ask a question? Will McCarthy, Kevin McCarthy, ultimately get the... Yeah, he will. Can I ask a question, please? Can I ask a question? Is what's going to get him over the line the threat of a Democrat speaker? Because Hakeem Jeffries has blooming more votes than Kevin McCarthy, but he doesn't have the majority that he needs. Um, will, will the threat of a Democrat speaker get him over the line? And that's a very definite yes. So the ones that are holding out, um, what is it, 20 now? Uh, they've put the vote off till tomorrow. <coughs> the ones that are holding out against Kevin McCarthy, oh, God knows what they're actually going to want, what he's going to negotiate overnight, uh, would find it even more horrifying to actually have a Democrats, the House Speaker, uh, a minority party, House Speaker being in charge because then uh, Jeffries can bring to bring forward <clears throat> all the bills etc. Uh, he would be the one that would organise the committees. I believe it's the most powerful position in the House is House Speaker, and the thought of having a Democrat would be even worse than having McCarthy. So they're they're holding out. <clears throat> I think overnight, the feeling I'm getting is that they'll come to their common sense. They'll come to their common sense, they'll reach an agreement, they'll reach a balance, um, but they're wanting more money, they're wanting more support, they're wanting more whatever it is. So he thought he had it in the bag because he had negotiated with these ones that are now holding out, but <clears throat> they want more. Give them an inch, they'll take a, take a mile. Okay, I'm going to have a look at George DeSantis because... If you've missed the news, what's happened? Oh, in case you didn't, uh, three, he's had three uh, ballots lost. The record apparently is held forever ago, I didn't look up the year, by Nathaniel Banks, who apparently had something like 223 or 233 um, ballots before he actually, lost ballots before he actually won the House Speaker, and it took them two months to, to seat him. So... <clears throat> Kevin's got a long way to go if he wants to beat the record. Anyhow, I want to have a look at George DeSantis. So on top of my reading from last week, on top of everything that came out about um, young George, uh, that his resume is a complete fabrication, that everything he said about his life is really not 
<laughs> hmm. Okay. <clears throat> the latest ones to have come out was that he apparently claimed that his mother was some whiz bing f bang financial broker and was killed in the 9 11 attack. Well, no, apparently, his, in truth, his mother was a, a cleaner, nothing against cleaners. I loved my cleaner when I had one when I was pregnant. Um, uh, but didn't die till 2016. So he even lied about his mother. Um, but what I really want to have a look at is Brazil. The Brazilian government have reopened, or said that they're going to reopen, the case against George DeSantis for stealing from someone he was caring for. He was, at, he was a carer for an elderly gentleman and apparently he stole at least a thousand dollars from um, from the carer. Now he was charged, but I don't think he was convicted. There wasn't um, there was proof. There was proof he did it, but I don't know why uh, it didn't go ahead. Anyhow, so Brazil's now said, "Oh, really? Um, we we're going to reopen the case uh, and try and extradite him." Now, if he's found guilty, up to five years imprisonment for him. Hmm, so let's have a look at how George DeSantis A is feeling and I'm just going to have a look at whether this, yeah, the overseas has come out, overseas bombshell is going to come out. So let's have a look, how's George DeSantis, these are my trip and wake tarot. How's George DeSantis? Still working on my intuitive cards. As I keep having to remind themselves, get them right first time. Don't make do. <laughs> yeah, and they will come forward very quickly, my intuitive cards, when they when I finally get them right first time. And at the moment, it's just centering, centering the images in the cards. Okay, clear that energy. George DeSantis, how's he feeling right now? I'll do a intuitive tarot. Come at it, popping out at me again. I'll do an intuitive tarot spread and then I'll do a Celtic cross in regards to the Brazilian, the Brazil, whether they do the take the court case ahead. Yes, thank you. Let's have a look. Okay, so we've got this. The signifier card for him. Young person, he's not old. Um, he probably seems old to some, but to me he's not he's not old. Um, youth, he is youthful, youthful energy, but there is this lie the lies he's been telling are gonna come back and bite him. So there is this disbelief. Can be a sort of a pigs might fly card in my uh, light seers tarot but there is this uh, i mean how, how often do you see a fish in a cup uh, when you're standing on the shores it is this bombshell um, something really really unexpected is going to come present itself to him challenged by having to defend himself Ooh, wow okay plan he had or well, the plan he's making what he would like to do thank you guys for reminding me what he'd like to do is he'd like for it to all go away basically he's wishing for it to just all go away to end he's wishing for it. wish this is the wish card be careful what you wish for wish fulfillment and this is uh, closure and endings he's wishing that it would just go away. However, what is actually going to happen to him is justice and justice for United States democracy. This is interesting. Karma hanging over him. It was the lure of the fool's gold. Loss and disappointment. Fool's gold. He, he got greedy he got in over his head he didn't realize oh, entertainment only he didn't expect it to spiral out of control as it didn't in fact okay thank you the boys are telling me he didn't expect to win 
And if he hadn't won, it wouldn't have come out. But yeah, he was lured by the fool's gold entertainment only and losses the karma hanging over him. He still has two cups upright. So the loss is very significant for him, but he still has his health. He still has his age. Okay, the outcome for him, temperance, things being rebalanced. The outcome, thank you. Things being rebalanced in the lawmakers. Harsh truth coming forward and full illumination. Yeah, uh, what I'm getting here is he's very probably going to lose his seat in the house because things are going to, there's going to be some rebalancing amongst the lawmakers. For him personally, this harsh truth is going to be fully illuminated. And on the base, we have the moon card, um, the seedy underbelly, uh, things that need to be exposed, brought to the surface and exposed to the light are going to, to do so. Um, yeah, this is just my the swamp brought to the surface card and exposed. In regards to the voters, he is reaping what he has harvested. And we have this emperor card, this patriarchal, my way or the highway energy. And that's the energy he was projecting, but he's reaping what he sowed. Okay, I'm going to have a look. I might swap decks because that was George. The energies he's in at the moment, he's wishing it would just all go away. And I'm thinking he's he was he was deludedly lured in, so to speak beyond what he expected and uh, I don't think he's going to hold his seat. Right, going to have a look at whether Brazil is going to proceed, extradition etc and split the deck and here we have a prosecution, new prosecution coming forward. Okay, George Santos, is Brazil going to proceed with this court case. Is Brazil going to proceed with this court case and are going to be able to extradite him? What does the future bring in regards to... I don't even know if he paid it back. And then he's been up... He's been hauled in front of the courts twice for not paying rent. It's just... And then he somehow mysteriously got enough money to be able to pay his campaign 750000 which indicates he's getting some dodgy funding from somewhere and it's the same sort of funding. Now, what was it? The Federalist Society, is that what it was called? I'm going to have a quick look at that because that's the same mob that funded Kavanaugh and I don't see good outcome for Kavanaugh. Let's just have a quick look. Can I ask a question, please? Can I ask a question? Thank you. Was it did George Santos receive significant funding from the Federalist Society? And it's going to yes before I even finish the question because I form it in my mind first and they know where I'm going. Is this the same source? Entertainment only, allegedly, allegedly. Is this the same source that Brett Kavanaugh got his monies from? Same, the Federalist Society. Well, that's a definite yes. Wasn't even a maybe. Thought it might have gone to a maybe. Okay. Are these donations going to be investigated? Maybe. Okay. Is the Kavanaugh investigation going to be investigated? Uh, Kavanaugh donation. Paid out his mortgage, paid out all his debts, is the Kavanaugh investigation going to be investigated? The Kavanaugh donations. And that's a yes. Is the George Santos donations going to be investigated? And that's a no. Okay, interesting. No. Okay. Cleared up a few things for me there. 
Okay, tell me about, cards up the right way, yes, tell me about George Santos, court case for stealing, Brazilian, Brazil court case for stealing, court case for stealing money, George Santos, tell me how it's going to go, George Santos, court case for Brazil stealing. Okay, right, well, the Emperor. <sighs> Patriarchal, my way or the highway, but I'm really seeing this as what the boy showed me as soon as it flipped over was it is the... Did Brazil just have the new election? Yes, they did. And Lula da Silva was successful and I believe he's only just been sworn in and this is him he wants to make an example of it thank you is what I'm getting is Lula da Silva is going to be behind this particular case okay challenged by the chariot or crossed by the chariot it's going to happen really quickly. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you only have to look at my... Um, Lula da Silva is going to bring this forward very quickly. Bring it forward. Movement forward very quickly. If you look at my Santos reading from last week, things were going to move very quickly for him. Base of the, base of the reading, we have the... Um, Argy bargy mud fighting shamozzle that is the GOP, the infighting. This is not from Brazil's point of view. I think there's going to be. See, the thing is, if Brazil brings charges and tries to extradite, it's got nothing to do. With... I don't think he gets diplomatic immunity, does he? It would be a DOJ problem, not a House committee problem or something like that. But there's going to be a lot of infighting in regards to this. In the past, new starts. Okay, a couple of <laughs> meanings behind this went straight to the fact that the court case has been, has been re-looked at. But also um, Santos was trying to create a new start for himself. Goodness me, I think he's going to find himself down there. And thrown in jail as an example. Wow. He's going to be made an example of. Okay. Three of Pentacles. Came into a solid foundation, but this is also about um, a foundation build on, built on dark money by himself. He doesn't have the support. He doesn't have support down there. And it's about the about the money. About the foundation of this court case is money. And the presentation will be money. Externally in regards to this case. We have the lawmakers. Feminine energy lawmakers. May, may even be a male. But it is that feminine energy. Um, if you try and think of feminine energy as... Um, it's compassion, empathetic, uh, uh, stabilizing, um, security, but it's also, I mean, <laughs> uh, hey, fury hath no wrath like a woman scorned or whatever, or whatever, wrath has no fury like a woman scorned. Um, but it is this feminine energy of um, righteousness. Thank you. That was the word I'm after. So we've got the lawmakers here, internally, the calm diplomat, Lula, my Lula da Silva card, it is my Joe Biden administration card as well, but internally it is Lula da Silva that is going to bring this forward. So that was, Emperor was him in his position as leader. Uh, there's going to be uh, diplomatic negotiations in regards to this, calm diplomatic negotiations. Hopes and fears. Yeah. DeSantis thinks. Thinks the money's, his, his money that he's got now is going to protect him. 
but all he knows is what is in his enclave. He, he, he's going to try and, okay, his hope is to hang on to his independence as well as his money. The outcome, victory card for the court case. It is about, um, it wasn't a lot of money, but it was significant. Four of Pentacles. Insecurity, playing the cards close to the chest, but this is the outcome. It's If you have a look at this card, he's got these four pentacles in a presentation box that he's bringing forward and showing. So I think the outcome is that this is... Ah, oh, thank you guys. This is actually going to be a really important case for the Brazilian government that they're going to bring forward to... To set the new tone of the new government to be seen on the world stage of doing justice. Thank you, is what I'm being told. So yes, it is an important case. There wasn't a lot of money f involved, but they are going to bring the case forward. The truth being packed up and someone having to move move from the dark to the light but it's still pretty swampy looking there two of cups emotional agreements oh pardon me i get so busy i forget to actually breathe my daughter's exactly the same we forget to breathe and we end up having to do lots of yawns um page of wands message coming forward something new being born choice having to be made crossroads moment and there's your ten of swords to marry with your eight of eight your hanging man he's going to be an example held up as an example sacrificial lamb an unbalanced relationship investigation Watch with interest, but I, well, the boys, if I'm reading the boys right, the message I'm going to put forward is that um, Brazil, the Brazilian government think that this is an important case to show to the world that they will not tolerate um, corruption, deceivery, doesn't matter where you are in the world, you can't escape from it. Um, that they're setting themselves up for a new future, and this is going to be an example case. Unlucky, and that they are going to bring it forward. So that's what the boys, that if the messenger is right, <laughs> so sometimes the messenger is wrong, Meister and Narina are always right, but sometimes I get lost in the interpretation, but that's what I'm seeing. So we shall watch this with interest. Take care, look after yourselves, and we'll see what tomorrow brings. Bye-bye.